Hi, I'm Plastician. I've been camping out on the roof terrace of the Queen of Hoxton for the past two weeks, and I'm awaiting the arrival of Elijah and Skillian from Butters to have a little chat with me for Rinse TV. Right, this week we're here with Butters crew, Elijah and Skillium. Thanks very much for uh, spending some time with us on Rinse TV. I like that we've got like the colour coding right. Oh, <laughs> black and yellow. Black and gold, yeah, black and yellow. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what's been going on, Butters camp lately? Um, how, how have things been shaping up for you guys? Um, this year, like we brought um, Flavor D to the label. Um, she's been making music for a long time, about four, probably five years but not had like an outlet yet. And that's yeah. what we set up the label for in the first place. So just maybe to bring in like one or two people each year and um, pour out their music, get them, you know, out there. Just mm. like, I remember when we first started working with her, she didn't even have like a press shop or like a, a DJ mix or something to, to get her music really out there. And we just helped her kind of, you know, get her music to people like you and um, other radio DJs and get a record out and all this kind of stuff. Like, I suppose you, you're well known for presenting like grime music to a wider audience. Pressing things on vinyl always helps. Yeah. What was the vision behind like starting the label in the first place? Um, it's like it was supposed to be like a mirror of what we were doing on Rinse. Like we were we had, at the point where we'd started, we'd been on Rinse for two years or approaching two years. I'd done a blog for um, maybe three or four years at that point. And there was like a lot of good people that weren't really represented properly, and we felt that we could package, yeah, like package it properly and do, you know, like an entire brand, have events, mm. and um, just do lo loads of like cool stuff around the music. And what what sort of what sort of stuff were you listening to at the time? What was the what was the sound that you really wanted to push? You know, it's 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 weird because like. It's, it, was, it was sort of involved in the grime anyway, so it's like that's that's what you get, like naturally because okay, you're, you're at school, mm. you're hearing grime, you're hearing Terra Angel with his Aftershock records, like I'm buying his records, not even really knowing who he is, kind of thing. Like I've never seen him before, saw him once in like music house. Like, that's how they get back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, let me we'll record that. <laughs> that's what people don't realise. Yeah, people think that in places like music house, it was just like famous DJs and stuff, but there was pure DJs all like all around these stations that don't even exist anymore. There's a whole like network of like London and beyond DJs, like you know, in it, like oh, how many stations in people. South, yeah. like yeah. just alone, back, North. Back like then, East. it was all very split up as well. Like um, it, in, living in South, I found it very difficult to pick up stations like Rinse, and that's why like the crews back then, like you so solid crew, were very much like South London thing. Heartless was the North London thing, and then like Pay as You Go was East London. It was almost like quite segregated because, like you said, like and and the same with the cutting houses, like. You mentioned Music House, so I went there, I think I met Tubby there, um, D-Double, I met loads of DJs there, and like yeah. you say, you'd be there and there'd be like 10, 15 people waiting to cut. I was waiting for like that three room. hours. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm, 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 like, I didn't have much money, so I'm like, I'm going to cut four, I'm going to cut one dub plate, and I'm waiting for like three hours behind all these guys and like that. But it's, it's how you sort of get exposed to a lot of music. Yeah, yeah. Thinking, oh, like certain times I've been there and like, I've come with like four tunes ready to cut them and then I've heard someone play that and I'm like, oh, can I, can I have that please? Like, yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then they give it to me, I'm like, yes. Like, I'll go home, I'm, like, I'm happy I've got like a, a tune that I wasn't going to cut, like, that I've heard on radio. That's how I met Skepta actually in Music House and uh, he heard me cutting uh, Venom yeah. and he was like, can, can, I, can I get a, a VIP of that? Yeah. And he was phoning me up for it like <laughs> all week. On a, on a polite vibe. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, just asking that. Yeah. That's what's weird about that as well. It's that, you know, faces like that you don't really get on the internet anymore. Like it was that's why it was hard initially maybe to communicate with flavour, that like, because we weren't seeing her like in the clubs or mm. like there's obviously like you no know, really record shops and all that kind of stuff. But like a lot of people might not have known my name, but they're like, Oh, you're a Yeah. Because they've seen my face at whatever forward or just being about at clubs and you know going to the, those different nights over the years, and same with Will. Like when Terra realised it was Skillium, it's like, oh, I've seen your face somewhere before. <laughs> I was, I remember that from Forward actually. I, I think the first time I met one man properly, I was like, I've seen you at Forward millions of times. So it must have been a similar kind of thing for that. Once you kind of put a face to a name, it, it kind of 
it's like building a brand for yourself, isn't it? It's the same kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so, on the subject of vinyl, you've obviously pressed quite a lot of vinyl through the label as well. Um, do you think that that's because of like your background buying records and and the importance for you of like vinyl as a DJ? Is that why um, you continue to press records now? Uh, a bit of both. Like, I still think that industry standard for like kind of electronic labels is vinyl and digital. Mm. Like it's more so been on the digital like last couple of years definitely. But when yeah when we came in, um, yeah, there were like like I said like, records like um, labels like Hyperdub and Tempar, they really just they had it really simple for you. There's a digital option, there's a vinyl option. If you want one you can get mm. another and that's you just really didn't want to deviate from that kind of template. So on the subject of events, you've got a big one coming up at Fabric on the 1st of November. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk us through the lineup, like what's going on down there and uh, how people can get involved? Um, with uh, Fabric, um, we, we sorted out the lineup like a few months back, so we've been looking forward to it for ages. We're doing like room two, which is like a big kind of mm. bassy room, there's like a like, wall of sand in there. Yeah. So um, the lineup is um, Jamie headlining. We did a show together like last March. Um, a couple of shows, one in London, one in Manchester, and it was just when his tune Night Six Fuckers came out. Yeah. And he performed in a crowd both times, and <laughs> people just thought it was sick. So I was like, right, the first one we do at the big club, we have to have Jamie back because mm. um, he showed like a lot of love. And then like the rest of the lineup is just like bringing like all the artists back together that we have worked with, uh, Swindle and Royalty, Champion and Terra Danger. Like um, we haven't really played any shows together since um, the other places closed, so. It's just um, like the best way to start off is, is with the people that you kind of came yeah. in with and and then like as we go on through like 2014 we'll kind of bring in all the different people that we're playing and um, artists maybe that you wouldn't expect yeah. to to have on the lineups at certain times. So uh, just to wrap up, what's coming from the label in the next few months? Like what can we expect from the label? Um, yeah, definitely like more um, parties at Fabric. We're going to stay there um, or try and stay there. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you come and yeah. make it nag. Um, yeah, try and, try and stay at Fabric for the, um, for the foreseeable, um, just to, like, to make something consistent. That's one thing, like having the parties running, um, doing like a, a joint release with um, Joko and his capsize thing with Swindle, Swindle yeah. and Joko collab record. Um, Royalty is going to be coming back to the label. He hasn't done a release for like two years yeah. somehow because all these guys have different situations. Nice. Cool. Well, boys, thank you very much cool. for spending Thanks. some time with oh, us man. at Rinse TV. Yeah. All good. Uh, Elijah and Skiddy and Butters, big up.